So, Otto, there's a lot of buzz on the internet about this fight. Have you been checking it out at all? I have. I try to, uh, not to read too many comments on, on uh, you know, boxing scene and those sites. Yeah. Uh, but I get a lot of support on my social media, so I read that. That's good. Yeah, yeah. That's I get good. a lot of support, but I'm very happy for that. I'm thankful. Has there been any like uh, comments down there where you're like, ooh, I wish I didn't read that or anything like that? No, I mean, there's been a few bad comments. Like you're gonna get knocked out. You're not. You just signed your death. Uh, death get uh, knocked out by Tyson Fury. Yeah. Who has he knocked out? <laughs> who has he knocked yeah, out? Yeah. Exactly. So, <laughs> but but yeah, I got a lot of respect for him, Fury. But with the comments, you know, I don't care. I mean, I don't know these guys. They don't know me. Right. What I really care about is what my family thinks and my friends. You know, and that's. I mean, if they would say something, then I would think about it. But I don't care about the other stuff. What would it mean to you to beat the self-proclaimed linear champion? Yeah, that linear would be, champion. Yeah, so. that would change my life, my family's life, and you know, just awesome. Something I dreamed of for very, very long, and you know, go down in history in Sweden too. We haven't had oh, a yeah. real heavyweight champion since Ingmar Johansson, and that was 60 years ago. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So Actually, that's that the only heavyweight world champion we had. Johansson. Yeah. Wow. Ever. Ever in the in a uh, heavyweight. Wow. Yep. So that would make you like the Andy Ruiz of Sweden. Yeah. Kinda. Kinda. Yeah. yeah. Is this a it's fight? Just too bad that it's not a title on the line, but I think most people think anyways that he's the champion. Well, he goes around saying he's the lineal champion. <laughs> yeah. Everybody hears him say it. <laughs> yeah. People won't stop saying <laughs> True. it. True. You know. Yeah. So yeah. I mean. It's an argument to be made. I'm not knocking him. It's an argument for him to be made that he yeah. still has that distinction. Yeah. You know? Um, was this a fight you wanted at this time, or did it come sooner than you wanted, or is this something you wanted at this time? You know, when you get an opportunity like this, you just can't say no. This is something you work for, and this is what you want. So it can come at any time, and it came now for me, and, you know, I just want to want to take the fight and show that I belong and I want to beat him. I know you don't read the internet things, the comments on the internet, but some people have been saying he's cherry picking because he yeah. fought Schwartz and this and that. Do you feel like this is a cherry pick for him? I don't know what he thinks. I don't know. But uh, maybe they think that, maybe they're not. I'm, I mean, I'm ranked number four in the WBA. Mm -hmm. My box track ranking isn't great right now, but that's because I have, I've had uh, three cancer fights this last year. And yes, I haven't I been know. able to fight so much. That's the only reason, otherwise I would have been higher. But maybe they look at me as an easy fight or whatever, but you know, I hope they do, because that's gonna make it easier for me.